All right, here is the um, assignment for creating organic op art. So um, curvy lines. So you get something similar to this or you get something similar to this. Okay, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, we are going to start with a blank document. I like to do 10 by 10 inches. I like something a little bit bigger, 300 resolution. You can have your background contents either white or transparent, whichever you choose. And then you press OK. So you're going to start out with a blank document. And um, you need to make sure that your rulers are on. If they're not, you need to go to view and make sure rulers and snap are both checked. And what you want to do is you want to find the middle. And again, the middle. Oh, I can't see my, my uh, ruler over here. Not quite the middle. So I'll just move my guide up. You want to find the middle. Um, we'll talk about moving that, that anchor point around here in just a second. Create a new layer. And then you're going to want to make a line using the brush. Um, I suggest 5 to 10 pixels, depending on how large. Make sure it's black. Well, you don't have to have it black. You can have whatever color you want. Um, find the top. Click once. Find the bottom. Hold shift. Click again. You get a line. Um, now we want to swirl this line. And we could, indeed, you have used the pen tool. But I think that the, the liquify filter works really well because you can get some different effects that are a little bit harder to get with the pen tool. So we're going to go into liquify. And uh, you want to make sure that um, brush size right now isn't really going to matter, but you definitely want your brush density and your brush rate to be um, not too big for your brush rate because then it will do things a little quicker. Um, you can just use your um, forward warp tool, you can use your twirl tool, you can use your turbulence tool. Um, these two we'll use for the other ones. Um, I use I usually start with my spiral tool and I, I kind of do that in the center and uh, the turbulence tool might work for you, it might not. You can always reconstruct it if you don't like what you did. You can just keep clicking it until it comes back. Or you can restore all. Um, you can go into mode and you can and change those, but I want to suggest it. So I'm going to go back to my twirl tool, find the center. I'm going to twirl that like so. Then I'm just going to use my forward push. I'm going to make this brush size a little bit smaller. And I'm going to go like that. And I'm going to get this all the way I want it to look. And then I'm going to press OK and the liquify tool will apply. So now we have this layer. Now if you want it to spiral from the center, you would leave your, um, your crosshairs here. You could move your crosshairs up or down depending on where you want that to spiral from. I kind of like off-centered, um, but for this project right now, I'll just leave it in the center. So what we want to do is we want to find our layers, make sure it's on layer one, and we are going to command T or free transform this. Now we do not want to resize it. We just want to rotate it. You could also go up to edit, transform, and rotate if you were scared that you would accidentally um, uh, resize it in some way, shape, or form. You could resize it just a little bit, but you don't want to resize it too much because um, when you get to certain places, it might not work as well. So we're going to decide that I want the bottom to be in the center. You're going to get that line to touch the center and hit enter. Um, I'm also going to rename this to original. 
and because I want to leave that one. And then I'm going to Command J, which will copy this layer. And then I'm going to free transform. And I'm just going to start spiraling it. So I want this center to remain always in the center. And then we're just going to spiral out. Okay. Um, you could rotate that as much or as little as you want, depending on how much of an overlap you want. If you don't want to overlap at all, you would want to spiral it out a little bit more, um, remembering to re center this. Zoom out just a little bit. And it's really just personal preference. Okay, that might be a bit much, but that's okay. Command J again, Command T. There, I made up the difference. And then I am going to merge these two layers so I have two of them. So I'm just going to Command E, which will merge your layers down. Command J. So now I have two. Um, I wouldn't suggest doing more than four. That That's usually my limit here. So I'm going to Command E again. So now I have four. And I'm leaving that original because then I can deviate that pattern if I want to. Oops. Escape that. Command J. Command T. And I am just going to keep you could overlap them if you want to. You can do it however you want. And I'm just going to keep spiraling that out until I get to the end. So now we've gotten to the end. Um, this isn't the exact same one that we used before. It's another one. Um, I have merged all my layers. So I have one layer right here because you're probably going to end up with tons of layers. Um, you can do some other things to it, like here I did a center thing and I, and I went up to filter, distort, and I made it a sphere. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to. We'll talk about other ways to play with this um, in class. But here you have this, and then I'm just going to go to my background layer, and I'm going to apply a gradient to that. Um, I can go right here to gradient. You can pick any of your presets. You could change your colors here to get two of them. If I wanted to do a red and white or a, a red and yellow, per se. And then um, you want to probably use either the diamond or um, the radial gradient. I prefer the radial gradient. And you're going to start in your center point where you started, and you're just going to pull out. And there you go. Or you, could, you don't have to go directly out that far. You could go like that. I mean, you can really experiment around with it. You can go in here and change your colors if you wanted to. There's a lot of different things that you could do. Now you can leave it like this or you could open up another document and do four of them on a sheet. Um, you can do it however you want. It is completely up to you. Um, if I were to go right now to back to my layers and go to here, and Command T, you can see that this is a really large. I could make it smaller so you see more of it. Hit Enter. Just make sure that there are no um, lines that um, are cut off. You don't want that to happen. You want to keep it like this.